Hey guys, welcome back to Monday Madness with Lucas. Uh, this week's episode, we're talking about what not to ask a trans man or trans person in general. Uh, as you know, there's a whole bunch of questions I could get into about what not to ask a trans man or a trans person in general. Uh, but let's get to the top 10 or top, top questions in general of what it is. Sorry, I missed guess last week uh, I was busy with finals so you guys get to see me this week uh, so one of the top questions that is asked often that I don't like is what surgeries have you had first thing in your business what is under my clothes uh, you know I've had top surgery and everything but even before that people wanted to see me without my binder which is not okay um, other thing is if they have asked if I was ever going to get bottom surgery, whether or not I decide to get bottom surgery, that is not in your business. Uh, so it's been interesting. Um, yeah, I just don't like when people ask about my surgery, so I'm going to wait for that to finish. But I hate when people ask that. Two things. Give me a quick second and I'll get back. Excuse me, I need some water. Uh, but yeah, don't ask about my surgeries. I really don't like that. Um, I'm usually okay with it. Uh, I'm usually not a big, you know, I don't really take any offense to it. I just don't like it. Um, just like I don't ask you what's in your pants or what kind of panties you're wearing or what kind of bra you have on. Same way, uh, I don't ask you about your genitals. You shouldn't ask about mine. So whether I have bottom surgery or not, that is none of your business. Second question, if, let's see, uh, what was your former name? My dead name is none of your business. Uh, what you should be calling me is my name now and that's it. There's nothing else between that. There's no before, there's no after. Um, my name has always been this and I, that's what I've always wanted to do. Um, whether my name before was something different, that is none of your business. <laughs> So I hate really a lot that happens when um, a lot of people ask, what was your former name? My former name um, doesn't matter. It is my name, it is mine, what I identify as, and that's it. You shouldn't call me for my other former name. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you knew me back then or didn't know me back then. Funny thing though, um, I had someone who knew me from back high school, and they called, um, I guess I hadn't seen him for a couple of years, and I don't know whether they did not remember that I changed genders or not, um, or that my name was this now. Um, but they called me at school, they saw me at the same, we go to the same college, and he, they called me by my um, former name. I was very, very um, confused. One thing is, I was mad because I didn't want to be called by that former name. Second thing, I wasn't even sure if they were talking to me because they haven't called, so nobody's called me that name in years. So um, I just used that moment to educate him about it. Problem solved. Um, but yeah, don't ever call anyone by their dead name or ask them what their dead name used to be. If, if they want to tell you, that's them. Um, but you shouldn't ask what their dead name is. Um, third thing. Um, very serious question is what I identify as whether it be sexually or like uh, it's okay to ask for pronouns and stuff let's say if you're not sure or whatever it is but it's never okay to tell them okay um, so do you like girls do you like guys that's sexual preference that is very different very very different topic sexual preference has nothing to do with sexual I mean sexual preference has nothing to do with would you identify it as gender wise? You could be trans and you could be gay, or you could be trans, you could be straight, you could be pansexual, it doesn't matter. Um, shouldn't ask. Um, that's up to them whether to disclose that or not. Um, another question is when they ask for, for pictures of your before and after, uh, I do post pictures of before and after on my Instagram, and that is okay for me. I don't really care for it. Some people are slip stealth, they don't care to show you, um, and that's perfectly fine. They don't want you asking for a before and after picture, and that is their preference um, to do so. So don't ask, they'll show you if they want to show you, but other than that, it's none of your business um, saying that 
give me a quick second. I just want to make sure that this is. Uh, sorry, I'm thirsty. It's really hot here in Cali. Well, it's always hot in Cali. Um, let's see what else. So we have pre-transition pictures, pre-transition uh, names. Uh, what else? Um, don't ask what's in my pants, obviously. I will show you my packer once in a while. Perfectly fine. Um, what else is there? Um, before names, pre-transition stuff. Usually it's when they're asking about um, whether, because I'm transitioning, I'm gay or something like that. Um, it's not okay. Uh, just don't ask questions, you know, it, you wouldn't want them asking to you. Uh, you know, let's say, for example, um, shit, let's say you ask about someone's genitalia. Uh, no one asks about yours, so you shouldn't ask about theirs. Let's see, have I broken it all down? I uh, think so. I mean, for the most part, those are the main things uh just don't ask what's in people's pants don't ask what their names were before just ask for proper pronouns if you don't get what gender they are don't ask why they decided to transition that's their story you know that's like they felt like they felt they were trapped in this wrong body that's why they're transitioning problem solved um it's just very annoying to have people ask you those kind of questions on a daily basis or ask you you know why wow, you look like a real man bitch where i mean blows my mind i don't look like a real man you know i sorry there's a there's a airplane going there but it really does break it down where it's like okay i am a real man okay so i'm pretty cool okay i look like a man that's cool or when they my girlfriend's like you know, she's trans porn star, and they ask her, "Wow, she look like a real woman, bitch!" Of course, she's a real woman. What do you expect? You know, to me, she's a real woman. To everyone, is she is a real woman. Um, so it's more like that. It's kind of like annoying when they ask you otherwise. But pretty much, I think those are some of the questions. I think are kind of annoying. Um, you shouldn't ask someone that's trans. We shouldn't ask anyone in general. You know um but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week